In this video, we're going to go over our Ring app setting. In this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to turn off the notifications, turn off the motion. Um, most of the time you want this on, like for your front door. But in my case, I have cameras like in the garage. And we have a few other cameras inside and around the house. And it gets annoying when every time you walk by the camera, it pops up a notification uh, over and over and over. So I'm going to show you how to turn those off and a couple other small settings. The first thing you want to do is you want to pick the camera that you want to turn on and off the notifications for. I'm going to pick the camera I've got out in my garage. I'm going to click on the three little dots beside of it and I'm going to click on settings. Now once I get into settings, you're going to see motion record, motion alerts. Now your front door setting will have another setting on it, but we're working on an internal camera now. So I've got motion alerts off right now. If I turn on motion alerts, every time something moves in the garage, your phone pops up a message just like it would if somebody walks by your door and it's going to say, there's motion in your garage. There's motion in your garage. Um, that would drive me and my wife crazy because I'm always in the garage. So in this case, I'm going to turn that off. I still want it to record on motion, but I don't want the alerts to pop up every time I walk by it. And just for an example, if we go back to the camera on the front door, we go to settings. There's actually ring alerts, record motion, and motion alerts. And the ring alerts are when you push the doorbell. Uh, it'll actually tell you if somebody is actually ringing your doorbell, if somebody is at your bell versus just recording the motion that's there. Let's say somebody's out in your front yard, like someone's by the front porch, somebody's out in the front yard working. If you click the three little dots, there's a snooze button. If you hit snooze, you can actually pick 30 minutes, two hours, four hours. And when you save that, basically what that'll do is it'll keep it from notifying you over and over and over again if somebody's actually out in the front yard working that you know is out there. Um, that can be annoying if someone's on the porch or something like that, you'll get 100 notifications and it's just because somebody's head's in front of the camera. So that's basically how you turn off the motion alerts and how you put it in snooze mode or sleep mode uh, when you're not using it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please click like and subscribe. I'm gonna do one long video with all the settings in it, but I'm also gonna do a bunch of little videos with individual settings because some people don't wanna watch a 20 minute video just to find out how to do that. So click on the ring playlist and you'll find other settings.